So here we are, that wonderful picture we saw earlier on, but it's the second set. It's 2-1 for Elena Dementieva. First set to Lindsay Davenport by six games to two. Lindsay Davenport really starting to look very comfortable and in control of the match. I mean, she's so used to being in this situation. shadow swing just trying to rehearse how it should be but the shadow swing didn't carry that much conviction it's a heavy shouldered Dementieva she's covered some ground in this match yeah she's been the one that's been running after the controlled aggression of Lindsay Davenport here. You can see a big gap. She doesn't go for it too hard, but she knows the next shot she could hit a winner if it does come back. It's great length. Tim and Dieva just looking for the court. It didn't come. And she ended up very late on the return. Golden rule, you must keep playing the ball until it's called out. That's so well timed. And Davenport just looking more and more confident as the match goes on. You can see Dementieva really thinking to herself, well, where do I go from here? Yeah. It's just deflated her confidence and her, her motivation, really. Well, she had to start getting a few more first serves in because every second serve she's immediately put under pressure. That's a shame with a double break. You really feel is significant. 6 2 4 1 now for Lindsay Davenport. More action from this semi final. We'll take a short break. Join us again in Indian Wells after the break.
two games away from the fourth final of this year already. A set and four one. This is the stage of the match when you really feel that Dementieva has no answers because Davenport is in her stride, very confident. You know, she even gets away with a point like that. Got the smash wrong, moved awkwardly, but she made the play. And there was a good chance for a pass here, but Davenport stood her ground. few glimpses of that magical forehand I think mainly because Davenport just didn't really allow her to play no there, there was just really too much pressure from the very beginning not by uh, hard hitting particularly but the number of balls that were in court in awkward places and of course the good serving which got better and better as the match went on infrequent that she would have the confidence enough to do it but when she did wasn't it effective yeah but you can see how far she has to move around to get the favorite forehand nice flowing shot that time second shot is another major improvement from Lindsay isn't it so it's always been threatening, but she follows it up so well. But, you know, good for Dementieva. She's got, she's won five in a row out here, five matches, that is. And she must be learning so much from playing, you know, number two ranked player in the world. She's just got to remember what it was like to be on the end of some of these heavily hit shots. Got to take it back to the practice court and say to a coach, come on, you know, we've got to practice at a higher standard. some of the top men is always a good trick so that almost when you play someone like Lindsay you're coming off the pace and that's no disrespect to Lindsay by comparison to the power of the men but just to somehow get a handle on it
because she's just not used to that sort of treatment off the serve against most of the other girls and ladies that she'd played throughout the year and certainly in her young career so far match point it was for Davenport at 6 2 5 1 great week though as you're saying Joe for Dementieva a lot to learn a lot to bank $78,000 Started the tournament with $19,000. So a great week for the young Russian, as we said earlier. We will see a lot more from her, that's for sure. But the final will be between Lindsay Davenport and Martina Hingis. So very quickly, Joe, come on, who's your money on? Hmm. <laughs> well, I just, I think Lindsay Davenport has been playing unbelievably well lately. And she's not going to go off the boil like Mary Pierce did earlier on. She's going to be there to the end of the match. And it's going to be difficult for Hingis. In that match you'll be able to see with us here live on Eurosport. 2100 CET, that's 8 o'clock in the UK tomorrow evening. Martina Hingis against Lindsay Davenport. The second final in a row that they would have played each other had Scottsdale not been rained out. It's the third of the year. The Australian Open, of course. Lindsay Davenport reigned supreme. Martina Hingis has got a rebound from that. From Chris Bradnam and Joe Jury, it's bye for now. Sanex WTA Tour.